vámonos, ya vámonos, ya vámonos, ya vámonos. ¡Sapo! ¡Sapo! Y el sapo. Pinche sapo. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. From hunters became hunted, from prayer became prey, and until the last moment that Primo didn't realize that he is a real prey. And only when uh, he was explained that he could not take add him all the responsibility or he will be killed, he only realized that his entire life now is a nightmare. Until that moment, he was not realizing what's going on. He was just thrown by fear, but that fear was not helping him. That that's the most interesting moment. Okay, he, fear was blo had broken his mind. He was not clearly understanding that he he just going down and down, down and down. They're they're altruistic, like idealistic people trying to do the right thing. Of course, they don't have the the brains or the the, the, the intellect or. The will or the cut, even the, the like the deceivingness to do what they're supposed to do, right? So it was interesting how the um, uh, the guys wanted to uh, to get justice and take justice into their own hands, and yet um, they killed the wrong person. They killed an innocent guy, and as you can see. Um, he kept justifying it by saying that that guy must, the photographer must have been been a bad guy. And, but like the but there's no there's no reasoning behind it that the photographer actually did the did the original murder in the first place. So uh, it brings up the concept that like uh, like that when you're vigilante, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing the correct thing. I felt there were too many title cards, and I also felt that I was waiting for the Grand Theft Auto game to start after the interstitial. I, uh, I enjoy small moments in films, nuance, and I think the sheriff, when he pulled out his, his reading glasses and sort of opened his computer, and he wasn't, he didn't really look like he knew what he was doing with his computer. He was prepared to do something. <laughs> I think he might have, you know, double clicked on a folder. and It didn't open, it just sort of dragged it a little bit across the desktop, and he may have created like a new folder bracket three. Uh, that moment though sold so well that I was watching a, another movie that was just like <coughs> sheriff with tattoos that is no longer in the, you know, in the trenches, sort of in an office in his new sort of fish out of water new world where he's got to work on a computer and computers are not his thing. Like that, that nuance took me somewhere though that was like as big as the rest of the film. That was, for me, that's something that I noticed. I really liked that performance. Yeah, he was opening up the confession, starting the confession folder, right? I really liked that film. I thought it kind of like connected from the beginning of the story where it talks about like 99 point some odd percentage of the crimes are never um, solved or like, um, and the murders kind of like roam around free. But then at the end, when, when just average folks, they, they take matters to their own hand, at the end of the day, they are faced with this, uh, this, this, dilemma and it's very ironic and it's almost like catch-22 where like you 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 want to do something but yet you are faced with something you have to make a decision on do I own up to that that murder of somebody or do I just um, go and say you know what like just, I don't care fuck it and the only thing that I had and now I think about it is that the, the although the cinematography I, I find that they they 
tried hardest and there were a lot of different aspects of like cinematography like um, I could see that they were trying with a TV with an eye blinking on the on the one corner true I, I wanted to feel like it was like I don't know the great Gatsby with the with the big brothers watching kind of thing but but then also like uh, when uh, um, the guy was running in the background and they were trying to make it look very um, like I, I felt like they tried too many of the cinematography effects. You allude to the first comment about the title cards. It's like they were like they were just they were, they, were, they had a lot of tricks in their in their satchel, and I guess the theme of the movie is that it's about if you like it's good to be a vigilante and, and take like like sometimes, but there's a certain mentality, there's a certain personality that can do things like that or can execute, you know, kind of those kind of traits, and it's not for everybody. Uh, I like how spot on the translations were for the subtitle, since I since I speak Spanish, and I also really like how uh, there was a steady curve in the thriller. Is it from someone who speaks Spanish? Is there anything that that we missed as from English from the English language that you kind of caught that kind of like a wink or from the culture or anything like that? Or I mean, yeah. just that there is dialect and slang that you can't actually translate into the English yeah. language. Yeah. But as far as the subtitles went, they were pretty spot on. I want to see some hands up to who what everyone thinks of at the very ending. What his choice was. So like, did he, you know, kind of fast? Or did you just walk out the door? So did, who raised their hand and he confessed? And then walked out the door. So basically 80% of the audience thinks that he walked out the door.